Hey guys, so today we are going to take a look at a Bisojo figure of Lala Soon from the classic anime Mobile Suit Gundam. I have been looking for a Lala Soon figurine for some time now, so I'm really glad to get my hands on this Banpresto figurine of her. There are actually two versions of her, and what I have here is version B, which sees Lala Soon spotting a fairer skin and a dress with brighter yellow hues. Let's go on to unbox her now. Figures of Gundam characters, while not exactly rare, aren't as widespread as, say, figurines from non-Mecha enemies. Perhaps Bandai's reasoning is that most Gundam fans would prefer scale model kits of the Mecha or mobile suits rather than Bisojo figures. Personally, I like both and I'm really happy to have been able to add this iconic figurine into my collection. Now, before we unbox her, let's take a quick look at the box art. As mentioned earlier, there are two versions of her. The other version, version A, is a dark skin uh, Lala Soon with pastel yellow dress. Now, mine is a lighter skin uh, figurine with a brighter yellow dress. That means the version that I'm unboxing here is the version B. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. Unlike most Banpresto packaging I've seen so far, this figurine doesn't seem to have additional layers of cardboard protection around her. I guess the way her dress is sculpted is such that it takes up almost all the space inside the box. So there isn't much room for additional cardboard protection. But it's okay because the figurine isn't moving around too much within that cramped space due to the bulk of her dress. So that means it shouldn't be prone to much damage due to moving around within that space. The Lala Soon figurine comes in three parts. Namely the figurine herself, a simple white round base and a small supporting stand for her leg. Before we give this Lala Soon figurine a uh, once-over, let us first remove these parts from the plastic wrappings. That's Lala Soon herself. She comes all fully formed in one piece. So that's always a good thing. That's the simple white round base. And finally, we have a short leg support stand which I'm having trouble getting out from the back now. That stand, I presume, would be to help stabilize the leg that is being lifted onto the air so that the figurine can be displayed on the round base without tipping over. I guess we'll see uh, later on when I attach the figurine onto the base. Overall, Lala Soon's scalp is pretty uncomplicated. She has on a simple one-piece yellow dress, sans any adornments of any kind. She has a joyful expression on her face that also manifests itself in the way she is swinging her arms. The colour scheme is a triad of dark teal on her hair, yellows on her dress, and the light browns of her skin tone. While the colour of her skin may not reveal her ethnicity, the bindi on her forehead confirms that she is of Indian origin. Her teal coloured hair is tied up in pigtails. Meanwhile, her fingernails doesn't seem to be coloured, but they are sculpted well enough that I think you could paint them easily with acrylics if you wanted to. If I were to take a closer look at her facial features, I can tell that she has lovely green eyes accompanying her open mouth smile as well as her cute button nose. Now that we had a quick look at Lala Soon, let's go on to attach her onto the base. There are three holes on the base, two of which are for the pegs on her right foot and one is for the leg support. So I'm going to try attaching her right foot onto the base first. Now it certainly looks like she can easily stand without the leg support. So my guess is that that support is used to prevent her weight from exerting too much pressure on that right foot or ankle. I guess over time, 
if all her weight is uh, focused on that right foot, there's a possibility that the ankle might break or even bend, then the figure will become deformed. Now, as you can see, I'm having trouble putting the leg support onto the left leg because there doesn't seem to be much room for me to maneuver in that regard. So I guess I should have actually placed the leg support first before attaching Lala Soon onto the base. As such, I'm now going to remove the figurine from the base before proceeding to attach the leg support. In the interest of time, I'm going to do this off camera and show you the results of what I did. So I had went ahead to attach the leg support off camera. My guess is that her weight distribution is such that she might have started to bend and sag on her right ankle without that support. Technically, Lala Soon can still stand without that support, but I guess over time, it would have damaged her right ankle or foot. Personally, I'm not a fan of that leg support because it kind of spoils the aesthetics of the figurine display. This then is a full 360 degrees view of the Ban Presto figurine of Lala Soon from the Mobile Suit Gundam anime series. She is made from AVS and PVC and this figurine is approximately 18.5 centimeters in height as measured from her feet all the way to the top of her head. This is version B, which sees Lala Soon with a light brown skin tone against a bright vivid yellow dress. Other colors of note are her dark teal hair, her red bindi, her dark pink tongue, the orange fringes on her dress, and her white pensu, which is not shown here. Her pose reminds me of another character from an old 70s TV show called Little Girl on the Prairie in which the end credits saw the protagonist, a young Laura Ingalls running carefree on a field. It is a joyful pose and I love it. Now here's a bit of trivia for you anime fans out there. There was actually an anime adaptation of the books that this 70 shows was based on. That anime ran from 1975 to 1976 and was called Laura the Prairie Girl. As a comparison, the Mobile Suit Gundam series in which Lara Sun was in ran from 1979 to 1980. In terms of likeness, this Lala Soon figurine comes pretty close to his anime counterpart. It seems to me that her green eyes had been painted a tad larger and rounder than what the original cup had intended. That is, a smaller and more almond-shaped eyes. At least this is what I can discern from looking closely at the figurine's eyes. So in the end, this Lala Soon figurine retains a more kawaii and childlike look when compared to, in my opinion, an older and more elegant look in the anime character. Either look has its own charm, so the larger eyed version of this figurine is perfectly fine with me. In fact, it rather suits the joyful expression and pose the figurine has. Despite the discrepancy in eye size, she still looks good in my opinion. Meanwhile, on the lower half of the figurine, there were two things I wasn't so happy with. First, the leg support, which kind of spoils the whole look of the figurine. While you could technically display her without the leg support, but on the long term, there could be damage to the standing leg. My other gripe is that my copy of the figurine had an unsightly gloss on the back of her upper right thigh, but to be fair, it's nothing that I can't fix myself with a spray of flat or matte clear coat. But it would have been nice not to have to do that. Before I give this Ban Presto Lala Soon figurine a final rating, let's have a look at the pros and cons that this figurine has. The thing that I most like about her is the joyful pose that she has, as well as that beautiful expression on her face. She also has a very good resemblance to the online and manga character. While not perfect, is really really close. Now, 
Her colour scheme may be simple, but it's true to the character. That there are two colour versions to choose from makes it even better for collectors out there. Now, the things I don't like is most obviously the leg support, which I believe spoils the aesthetics of the figurine. I could have done without that leg support and it would have been perfect in terms of pose for display. Now, other than that, some collectors might find that the fact her eyes were seemingly painted slightly larger than what the scalp intended to be a bit jarring, but truthfully, I'm pretty okay with it as the size of her eyes doesn't really affect how beautiful her expression is and her resemblance to the online and manga character. With all that in mind, I am giving this Lala Soon figurine a rating on gold or C rank. Personally, I love this figurine very much and the only thing that is actually holding it back from achieving a platinum or B rank is the leg support which I find to be a visual irritant. That's it for this review and unboxing of Lala Soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.